Hello and welcome to another Nick Gay video. The new update brought some new things for players and I'm going to check them out. Please leave a like and a sub and I hope you enjoy the video. So as soon as you log in, there should be this daily login bonus that should immediately immediately pop up. You get 300 gems for right now and you do get a few other things, which is going to be a whole bunch of resources in two days. You get a few 12 hour resources, relationship boost, skill manuals, burst manuals. And then at the end, you do get, you do get those free 10 regular recruit, um, recruit vouchers. Um, yeah, so make sure you just log in every day. You don't have to claim them immediately, but at least log in every day to go ahead and get that step. All right, now next up, um, I know not a lot of people, not a lot of people go ahead and do, um, you know, do buy these things, but they are some new pay packages here. The ones for the one year anniversary just ended and every new event, they give, do give you new pay packages. So if you do pay, uh, if you do buy pay packages, yeah, just go ahead and get them here. Um, this is the standard stuff, you know, just regular jams, recruit vouchers, jam, molds, and so on and so forth like that. And in case you didn't know already, there is a new um, SSR Nikkei called Tove. I already just pulled on her not long ago, and I got some pretty excellent results from my pulls. Other than that, she is very, very lovely, and she's more of a shotgun support there. But anyways, if you do want to pull, um, you pretty much have about a week to go ahead and pull her. A little bit over a week, like two weeks, pretty much. And then also as well, there are there is a new Nikkei that actually got a new outfit. It's not up yet because of Privity, but it's basically going to be Noir here. And the outfit is extremely lovely. Um... Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more sexier in my opinion because you don't actually see a lot of her outfit. So, um, you know, the less you see, the more exciting it is to see what's under there. Even though her default outfit, you could see plenty as it is right now. But either way, I mean, yeah, they, they did offer a few unique and unique things compared to her default outfit. But, you know, you could actually see more of the side booba there. And uh, they did include a heart on her thigh. And there's also this little marking of like a Y on her on her face there. Besides the new haircut, the, um. You know they did ha they did have this new outfit for her and on her gun is very similar um pretty much there's the only thing different between this gun and the and the default gun is that there's um uh, this new gun has a little bit more a uh, dark gray at the end compared to her default model where it's really just more light gray at the end but other than that it is she is extremely lovely even her sd models here um there's some very very new things you know like even the stuff in her hair the flowers are a very nice touch and yep and she just looks as beautiful as always all right, and then also another thing too, they do have a new uh, event archive posted up. And in case you guys don't know what the event archive is, you just go here to the command center, which is pretty much the main thing where you go ahead and advise the Nikkei's, you go in there. And as soon as this loads up, um, you're going to go towards the top here, recollection. You're going to go to the last tab here. I wish it loaded up faster. You go to the last tab here and you're going to see towards the bottom here. I already went ahead and bought it already. Um, luckily, if you actually do enter the event, um, I, I didn't know about this 100%, but you could actually visit the map. See, so um, after it loads up, you can actually visit the map and see how the map is. I haven't actually explored it yet, but I will explore this later. One of the new things they added on this event is that it's fully voiced now. So, um, yeah, you see, I tried to do the login stamp, and unfortunately, you can't do any of this other stuff on the um, on the event archives. I mean, besides the mini game here, but you cannot go to the shop or the login stamp. So unfortunately, you can't get the um, the SR Nikkei uh, Neve since she was free in this event. So that's the only downside of them having the event archive. But other than that, it is fully voiced. You can see Neve here if you never actually got her. But um, yes, it's a very wonderful event. I highly recommend you guys watch this. I'm going to actually replace a, replay this event as well since it's fully voiced now. And when it first started, it wasn't fully voiced before. So it's going to be a very wonderful change. Um, yeah, I expect more depression after I finish watching that event. And obviously, the very, very new thing they added on this update is going to be the new event here in the bottom right corner. So we're just going to go ahead and check it out. Take the gun from my hand. What do you want to do is use warm urine. Ah, warm urine. Yes, obviously. It also won't help with maintaining your body temperature. So what should you do? Take the snow, pack it in a bottle, and warm it up using your body's thermal heat before drinking it. Yeah, those are actually really good tips, actually. <laughs> Believe it or not, those are actual real tips. Aww, Toe. <laughs> That's a very funny splash screen right there. All right, so let's take a look at some of the stuff that's actually in this new event, like the challenges here. Let's see who the challenge boss is. Oh, it is Gravedigger, everybody's favorite. And just so you know, every stage you beat, they do, um, they do give you a whole bunch of goodies. Um, not as much of the one year anniversary, but yeah, they do give you quite a bit of goodies. And what they did is they reduced the number of stages you're actually able to do. Because before you'd be able to do, I think, one every day. Or they now reduced it to you, you could only be able to do five of them. 
But now you're able to actually do um, the quick kills. The, this is a quick battle right after defeating it. So that's the improvement they made. Uh, the missions, look at the missions really quick. Oh, you do get a cool event lobby at the end of it. She looks pretty cool. She's actually on fire there. There's plenty of these event currency. You do get also uh, another memory film. So if you don't have any now, I have a little bit too already. So you'll be able to get more every event. And um, I, I don't know if there's going to be a hard mode. There should be a hard mode. Oh, yeah, there is. There. It says clear hard mode. Okay. The shop here, I believe the shop's going to be the same. And yep, it has um, has event retries, the advanced recruit vouchers. As usual, it's 10 regular, um, 10 regular recruit vouchers. A bunch of skill books, resources, console, stuff like that. So it's all going to be really the same. And also for the uh, reward boost here, yeah, obviously Tove, um, the limited squad. Um, Crow? What the hell is Crow doing there? Uh, there is Signal, Senti, and a few of the SRs there. So plenty of people to go ahead and actually, you know, and uh, get your boost up there. And for here, I'm just going to go ahead and not show this on the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip this. All right. That's about it for all the new things that just came in with this new update. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get plenty of rewards for that seven day login bonus. Also plenty of goodies in the event store. And coming up later, once Privity's monthly pass goes away, no R's monthly pass will come up. So I know there's going to be plenty of people excited for that new uh, mission pass. Make sure you do log in every day, you know, so that way you can get all those resources. And don't forget to complete the event. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and a sub. I'd really appreciate it. I'm Scrublord, and I'll see you on the next one.